welcome to a new video. I hope you enjoyed that little clip of me making coffee in the morning and starting a fire. I do that pretty much every day <laughs> without fail and it's such, such a lovely morning routine. So I am, as you can tell from the title, just cozy at home. Um, I love this time of year where I just slow down, it's colder out and I just become kind of a homebody. What have I been up to lately? Well, usually this time of year I start baking more or cooking. The other day I made um, this huge casserole of potato lasagna, which is kind of a favorite in my family. And the other day I made uh, apple crumble. That's one of my favorite desserts because it's so easy to make. The weather has been so nice. Uh, it rained for a little while, but then I've just had weeks of sunshine, blue skies, yeah, and crisp air. <laughs> the other day I set up the hammock in the backyard. Usually we only have the hammock um, up through the summertime, but I really wanted to just lay in the backyard and enjoy listening to the sound of the river and read a book uh, despite it being winter. So <laughs> I did and I layered up with lots of um, blankets and I think a sleeping bag and just read for hours. Alright, I've got I got my blanket and my sleeping bag from my car. Um, I use these when I'm on my road trips and they keep me warm through the night. Recently I've been going to the public library <laughs> and getting books. I kind of forgot that that was allowed. <laughs> that you could walk into some place and walk out with books for free. <laughs> um, so I got Born a Crime by Trevor Noah and I'm looking forward to reading that and then really similar title completely different book I got Born to Run um also really looking forward to reading that I think I'm going to start with this one first and then I brought out my two heating pads <laughs> these are going to keep me very warm oh, I warmed these up in their microwave just now so nice I love a good heating pad it just radiates heat in such a lovely way. So I'm just gonna relax out here for a little while. While I was reading, two bald eagles flew by. It was really magical. <laughs> uh, bald eagles aren't super common around here. They definitely live around here, but seeing one is, is a big deal. Yeah, and then the latest thing is uh, I spotted some very interesting tracks across the river, and I decided to go investigate. Even though the water is very cold this time of year, uh, it's been low because it hasn't been raining. So I um, blew up our air mattress that we have and I actually paddled across the river to check it out. Um, and it turned out to be, I think, bear tracks across the river, which was really exciting. <laughs> tracks bigger than my hand and you could see the, the pad and the digits. 
and even the nail prints in the sand and whatever it was was taking long strides across the beach and it was just really fun to see up close. One of the sad things that's happened um, recently is that two birds have died um, by flying into our glass windows. And we have these like bird turrets on the windows. They're, they're little um, kind of partially transparent maple leaves. And they're supposed to deter birds, but it, it did not work. <laughs> And it made me really sad to see these beautiful little birds dead on the porch. So that was sad. Mm, so sad. A bird hit one of our windows. <sighs> no, <laughs> this is terrible. Why is this happening? Oh. So sad. Second bird that's been killed. I've been enjoying lots of hikes through the woods. I um, there's this one trail I love hiking up to a point where a creek meets the river, and there's this rock that I love that I call the Pocahontas Rock that I love standing on and looking at the water. Pretty much all I've been up to lately. So thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe, and uh, contribute to my Patreon if you if you can. <laughs> I still get so shy asking that. I, I can barely ask. I'll see you for my next video. Bye.